Hello. Welcome to the Tutors of Life podcast where we research life so you don't have to. Episode 261. This is your host, Sean Tudor. And this is Sam. And this is a Tudor episode where we try to teach you something new. Nice. Mm-hmm. We're going to discuss getting shit done. Mm-hmm. Can that be the title? Yeah. Cool. Um, I might star it. S-H star star. It makes sense. Um, Dude, I have to admit, we're coming up on our three-year anniversary of this podcast. Crazy. In March, right? Or is it... J- 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 it's April? January. It's January? It's in January. Damn. Damn. Um, yeah, I'll have to look up what it is. I think it was like January 20th or something. Um, but I'm just impressed, right, that we have kept doing this for 261 episodes wild and we have 15 maybe 30 people that follow us yeah girl mm-hmm. and we just keep doing it we do yeah i don't know i was so i met with brooklyn um this week to a, discuss a marketer right uh videographer photographer social media marketing stuff like that yeah yep. um so i met with her chatted with her and it's so true the fact that like you need to release content. Mm-hmm. She did say, I was like, you know, most of our shit we record on our phone, so it's not like the best quality, but it's all right. And she's like, good content on all right shot, like quality is better than shitty content on great quality. That makes sense. I was like, oh, okay, cool, yeah. Um, <clears throat> But very much so, like, if we are as disciplined with posting every week as we are disciplined with podcasting every week, our podcast will grow substantially. Yeah. Um, So if you haven't noticed, I have been a posting fiend on the pages lately. Yeah. Um, My goal for January is to post every single day. And not just like a regular post, also like story posts count and stuff like that. Right. Um, Because... We have tried to do some engagement stuff in December, but since we don't post that often, um, only like 30 to 40 people would see it, and nobody, uh, I shouldn't say nobody, a a handful of people would only respond. Well, and that's the issue, too. So we met with Brooklyn originally for recon. That's why we met with her. And it's like, because we don't post frequently... When we post occasionally about like recon or something, it doesn't show up on people's feeds. Right. And so we need to be posting at a minimum three times a week so that our shit's always going into people's feeds. Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, fuck, dude. So like we essentially are screwing ourselves on marketing right now. Yeah. Because we were not posting. Right. Um, But I think this is a good year. Uh I, like I feel in a good place with other things now that I can post more and I will post more. Uh, and especially with us moving the podcast room to the office, it'll be good for when we like we'll have a good base by the time um, we have a better space and can have guests and stuff on too. So right, for I'm, sure. Yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, keep on the lookout for Tutors of Life posts. Love that. Huh? Love that. Also, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know Friday's episode didn't post. Mm. I came up here on my computer on Saturday morning, and I was like, that was supposed to be posted. So, got posted day late. Nice. But, it's all right. Yeah, it got posted. It got posted. That's what matters. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, how do we get you done? This was the first week of the 12-week year. Mm-hmm. Crushed every goal. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it was this simple. I saw what I had to do, okay? Mm-hmm. And I put it in my schedule. Yeah. I... And then when it came up, I did it. How many days did you fail? I failed the day. I failed Friday. Oh, Friday? Yeah. Not for the 12-week year, just I lost the day on my priorities. I got, 
I wrote the shit I wanted to do the day, the next day, like the day before. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I kept allowing shit to go in my schedule when I was supposed to block out things that need to get done. Mm. So then when the next day came around, I had essentially like eight priorities and I just didn't mark any of them off and I attempted and I failed. Yep. I But I only failed by one. Yeah. I failed to Tuesday and Wednesday, I think it was. Mm. Um, and that was because both days I put that I was going to post episode 258 on YouTube. But it's a 20 gig video. Mm. So it I had to have my phone plugged in up here for two hours. So I just didn't have time either of those days. So I failed both of them. Um, Dang. Yeah, but we've discussed it before. So like the our, our main thing is our critical tasks. You have five critical tasks. And if you get them all done, you win the day. If you don't, you lose the day. Right. Um, and those critical tasks, do they need to be stuff that's helping you like just better yourself? No. No? They can be anything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just your critical task. It's essentially your critical task is anything that's going to move you forward. Okay, that's what, it, that's what I was trying to get at. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so during the week, because I have a regular job, um, unless if I have something for that job, I'll have five. But normally I only do three during the week. And then yesterday I did five and today I'll do five. Um, but I, unlike Sean, do mine the morning of instead of the night before. Yeah. Because things can change. Yeah. I did mine this morning because I wanted to see where we were at when we got up. Mm -hmm. And that makes it so I'm like, oh, this is kind of how the day is going to flow. So these are the tasks I'm going to get done. Mm. Because I have a couple of tasks I wouldn't mind doing, but it'll take me like 30 minutes. And so I can just put it in tomorrow's while I'm at the office. So I can just get my like all my office shit done at once yeah. instead of trying to do the day after we discussed this morning, I kind of mapped out a way of how I can get all the shit done in a flow. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if I wanted to get the other couple things that are due tomorrow, so I still have tomorrow to do them, it will fuck up that flow. Yeah. Uh, I do think writing, so the whole thing of what the 12 week year is you have these basic tactics and so um like what was, this year was a lot of or this week is a lot of setting up it's so to set up for the rest of the 12 weeks correct um so one of my goals is to get like marketing and posting mm -hmm. for tutor transformations tutors of life um and for a little bit for recon and so this week was to make sure all the Facebook and Instagram pages were set up for everything. They were all connected. So they'll just post on both. Um, and I'll probably, the Facebook pages, I haven't started following, inviting people to, but I probably will today uh, just so people can see them. Um, but so that was my task for this week. And then the next task for the rest of the 12 weeks is to just post. Mm-hmm. So we have our thing called Monday, and on there, I don't know if you saw this for my stretches, cause or my doba. So like my goal for uh, doing one of my stretches is to do it every single day. So I put a sub item of day one, and then I put the date, day two, put the date, day three, put the date, so mm -hmm. then I can mark it off done as I go throughout the week. Um, so I'll probably do that with posting as well. I'll put the sub items oh, yeah. of each day so then i can go on there and be like yep i did mondays i did tuesdays <clears throat> and you do that all on monday is what you're saying mm -hmm. yeah yeah so kyle went on monday on the website for the first time friday he's always done it on his phone and he's like god this is just fucking irritating and stupid like it's just stupid nothing makes sense nothing flows pulls it up on the website He's like, damn, this is really nice. And I'm like, yeah. And he's he's just like, 
This makes a lot of sense. Why you guys want to use this? I'm like, yup. Because <laughs> on the phone, it sucks, dude. On the phone, it's mainly just to like check what you have for the day and to put done or put notes. Yeah, it sucks. In putting stuff on the phone? Mm-mm. Yeah, dude. And so he goes on that thing and he's like, oh, this is kind of cool. I'm like, yeah, dude. Mm. Website. But that's, it, it, it makes sense when you follow the process of like, him and Brooke get together and put everything into there. And then, like, he can just go on there on his phone and be right. like, okay. Done. Well, I even said yeah. to him, I said even better, it is a lot easier to mark done and do all that shit and write notes on the computer. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you're going to be at work. The guys clean up. Like, you guys clean up for the last 15 to 30 minutes. While they're cleaning up, pull up your tablet mm-hmm. and do your last go hotspot it, knock out the fucking... 10 minutes of duns notes whatever yeah close it help the guys finish cleaning and and dip yeah i mean because yeah you are just well does kyle use katie's tablet or his apple computer katie's tablet when i said to him i was like just buy a tablet use business just use the business account just buy a tablet i've messaged him so many times that we have so many at work i'm probably just gonna buy one at work for him with business funds and just be like yeah um but yeah we all have tablets so it's like super easy to yeah connect to your hotspot on your phone and just fill it out right and they travel so well right i love that i since this probably won't be posted for a week after i was giving sean some glares of kyle not going on there until Friday. um <sighs> but so we so so part of that list and part of that thing is like Andy Fursell talks about this. This is something Ryan does really well. Gray. Mm -hmm. Write a list and call the list due. When's it due? That day. Mm -hmm. And so I like I've been I've been responding and doing things right away as it comes up more often. The only caveat to that is if I have a lot of shit for my priorities, I won't do it right away. I'll throw it on at the bottom of the day list yeah, um, to make sure I get through my shit I have to do first. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I rocked through all my shit and stuff came up and usually it's stuff that I would just like set aside or like let like whatever. And I just like, oh. I'm going to do it. Boom. Get it done. And like all these things that usually I push off and wait to respond to like emails and texts, especially I'll just wait to like whatever. I just da, 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 did them because I wasn't doing anything that I needed to focus on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I was doing something I need to focus on, that would have been different. And I would have waited. But like it was, I was just cruising around doing random shit. And then I like could respond to shit and do shit and whatever. And so I was just getting shit done that usually I postpone. Mm-hmm. And I was able to just knock off like three things that I had on my list for the next day, mm-hmm. that day. Cause I was like, this is stupid. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would highly suggest if you do like to do lists and stuff like that is make them small, like the items, smaller chunks. Uh, so like right now, one of our things is writing a handbook. Uh, and my next step is I'm going to go on our checklist and make sub items of every little chunk of the handbook to write. Because when you just hear write a handbook, mm-hmm. instantly your brain's going to get overwhelmed and you're going to procrastinate at it. But if you just write PTO policy, sick policy, uh, Whatever I don't know what other policies we need, but if you just write right. out every single small chunk, it's going to be just so much easier to be like, okay, this is going to take me ten minutes to write. Boom, get one done. Yep. Good next. And so it just really helps helps your mind kind of comprehend everything that needs to be done and just relax and like let it happen more mm-hmm. than just overwhelming it and then procrastinating. For sure. For sure. So yeah. Um, once you, yeah, once you, so it's just, it's just, we talk about all the time, make your huge fucking list, take shit from that list every day that needs to get done, prioritize it, and then just execute. 
and you want to fucking execute, you should want to execute because you want to win the day. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to win the day, don't do anything. Just do your life. Mm -hmm. Go through the motions. Don't do anything. If you're if you don't have the motivation to win the day, I you need to rethink your life. You, you need to. You, this this is actually more important for you than anyone else. If you've got zero motivation to win the day, you need to like just win something like win fucking tying your shoes that day mm -hmm. like win getting out of bed without hitting snooze that day win making your bed mm -hmm. win just showing up to the fucking gym not even lifting just getting like you have to start so low and like reprogram your whole mental mindset if you don't even give a fuck about winning a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just you. You you have to start from zero. Yeah. And that's mo. I I would say that's over fifty percent of people need to do that. Oh Actually yeah. Actually, need to start from zero. Yeah. Because I don't know, dude. I bet you. I bet you most people, if they like reflected on what the hell they're doing, they haven't won days. Mm -mm. They haven't won anything and like most of the time your jobs you sh there should be things just at least at your job that you want to try to do to win the day oh yeah like i mean there's things i could at my job to do to win the day but right now i'm just sorting through books and movies so it's really hard to be like oh i should get half of this box sorted and done but i have so much shit that gets thrown at me that i don't want to put that on my list but like there are things that i could do at my regular job and most people should be able to do that as well. Especially if it's your career. Yeah. If you plan to be there for a long time, you plan to have a career, things like that, do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to go on a rant. I'm not going on a rant. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, what else did you, what else helps you get shit done? Mm, yesterday, neither of us watched any videos while we were at the office. Right. I had music on. Until Sean got there, and then I stopped having music on. Um, I went back to it once you left. But, like, we didn't really have our phones near us. Or if we did, like, we didn't pay attention. We paid attention to the task at hand. Um, besides Sean getting distracted by looking up his transmission stuff while I was eating, but whatever. And I found it. You did find it, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, our phones we did not watch videos or anything and we got a lot done in a short bit of time mm -hmm. um yeah your biggest thing you can do is eliminate distractions mm -hmm. and after you eliminate distractions time block and we got that time app on our phones now that yeah. helps a lot so like if i'm working on if i'm working on something and i turn like hit the start time i can see it helps a lot because i'll be like going but working 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 and i'll grab my phone for the distraction look at something i'll be like oh my god i'm clocked in and i set my phone down and keep working on what i was working on i'm like Fuck. i love that yeah that's great for you oh it's huge i it was really interesting too because i was able to post on instagram and stuff and like i literally just posted and set my phone back down yeah and i was like huh that was cool yeah well because yeah, yeah i'm like i am just huge on not stealing money for myself mm -hmm. so i'm just like uh working Go to grab my phone to fuck off. See, I'm clocked in. I'm like, oh, I need to keep working. And you are so adamant about not clocking in for so long. I know, dude. I haven't done it ever, dude. I haven't done it in so many years. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Mm -hmm. It is nice. The I think, what is it called? Squared up? Or time up? Time squared. Time squared. Um, it's really nice because you can put uh, like different job titles in there. So... Like, I have a separate one for tutors of life, separate one for tutor transformations, for recon, um, and for doing floor plans. And so it's really nice because if I switch to doing something else, I just punch out on there, punch back in, click the right category, and go on to my next task. It makes it really easy to switch in and out of uh, jobs. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I, that, I really like that. But I do agree. I think, like, just keeping track of how long it takes you to do things, like, helps you keep on track. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, the time blocking thing's huge. Um, getting shit done. 
That's it. Having a clean space to work. You don't think so? Nah. It yeah. helps. Dude, it honestly, okay, it helps. But if, like, you've seen my desk, mm-hmm. it's fucked. Um, I was looking for a checkbook yesterday. Yeah. And started, I was opening don't up your drawers. Do don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Someone was talking about how don't do that. someone else in the office has a pile of papers. Don't, don't, don't. Sean has a drawer um, of papers. A drawer. Four drawers of seven. All right. Let's not shortchange me. And I know what's in there, too. Exactly. What's in there? <laughs> I have an idea of the shit that's in there. I I made sure there's no bills in there. Okay, that's good. Um, I have uh, da, da, da. I have a lot of plans in my head for Tuesday and Wednesday, and obviously I know I'm not going to be able to accomplish them all. Um, but one of the things was like going through some papers and organizing stuff because I have those binders of our like we have podcast notes, vision notes, coaching notes. So I wanted to go through some of those and. Let me tell you. Get rid of some waste. What's up? What's well, even more the the best way to get shit done? What's up? I found this better than anything else. You look at something and you ask yourself, "Who should be doing this?" Or who could do this better than me? And then you task it to them. Mm-hmm. And then you check back in. And then when it's done, you accomplish it at such a faster rate. I do that a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. called delegation. Yep. And it's the best tool you can use because you can focus on our shit you're good at. Mm-hmm. These people can focus on the shit they're good at or the shit they need to learn. Mm-hmm. It's also good to like, if it's something you don't like to do, then to hand it off. Yeah. So like Brooke, our executive assistant, um, we just came up with job titles this week. So it makes me happy. Um. But she didn't really, she doesn't really like numbers and dealing with stuff like that. Um, I love numbers. Sean likes numbers. Oh, I love them, dude. They're the best. Uh, so obviously it makes sense for Sean and I to do numbers do numbers, and not Brooke. Yep. So we've been like taking that away from Brooke because we're just like, there's no point to give you something that you don't like to do because then you're just going to push it off and not do it. Push it off and not do it. And it... Like it's a it, it's the same thing. It's like accounting shit. Mm-hmm. People get it and people don't get it. Mm-hmm. So like shit that you and I are like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And we just like know and we're going through stuff. We're like, well, that can't be possible. That can't be possible because of this, this, this. Like she doesn't understand it. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. Like could she learn it? Sure, but she doesn't just get it. Like we just get it. Yeah. And so and I got like before I was in accounting. Like when I joined accounting immediately i was number one in my class grand it was at the tech people so i was number one in my class right away at the tech the teacher's like sean why like you can leave and i'm like oh cool thanks and she's like there's a test next week just coming and i'm like oh sweet sounds good because i just understood it Mm -hmm. meanwhile there was other kids in the class who were smarter than me and better than me in some of like other classes but they just like could not figure that out. Yeah. But some people just understand mm-hmm. that. And then, dude, like you put me in a room with someone who understands numbers better, like Kim, and I'm dumb. Yeah. It's like that. I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's like that progression of understanding. Mm. And we like to do it. So we should be, we should do the things that we like to do. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think finding your likes and dislikes and delegating your dislikes. Yeah. And finding yeah. someone that can do them stronger and better than you. Yeah. That is a very good thing. Good yeah. thing to do. Yeah, it helps you be a lot more productive. Uh-huh. Dude, that's like the, talk about a hundred times, community. Get yourself a community. Same thing at work. Get yourself a work community, mm-hmm. whatever. Get the people who are good at shit doing the shit they're good at. My department at work is so so uh efficient because they're all doing things they like to do right and since they're things they like to do they do them faster than the people that don't like to do exactly absolutely Mm -hmm. um 
so we've been like my team has been technically down a person actually now two people for the past year and a half and you wouldn't know it right um just because they're all in their happy places and they all just go that's efficiency Mm -hmm. dude i've seen that at so many companies and i noticed it at like automotive machine works and shit i'm like you can just delete these motherfuckers our profits will go up our overhead will go down drastically Mm -hmm. and the same amount or if not more will get done in less time yeah just by like Getting rid of people who don't like their role, complain, aren't good at it, yeah. isn't their strong suit, whatever, and then just like putting the people in there that like it and are good at it, and they do it three times as fast. Well, and like think how often like we're all talking in my department. Pretty, oh, pretty minimal. Yeah, dude. Because like I don't have to tell them what to do because if I just uh, so like Riley does external orders, so she does. Uh, buyers reach out to us to uh, buy whatever and so i can just give her the slip and she'll know like where to pull it from and then how to package it and then how to ship it like she does all of it i actually i don't even have to print out the slip she sees the email and just goes with it right um so like it's just so nice to be able to sometimes assign yeah she's out um (laughs) Just be able to give people tasks, and I don't even have to explain myself. They just go. Do it. Right. Um, so, yeah, we – very minimal talking. They don't really complain. The only time they complain is that they don't have enough work, enough shipping work. Yep. The, <laughs> Which the, goes to show that they really like their jobs. Right. And the last thing I will say on getting shit done is getting rid of meetings. Or getting rid of long meetings. Yeah. Short meetings. Only long meetings if you're doing brainstorming mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Going over like planning and preparation. Stuff like that for long-term meetings. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, your day-to-day shit, little powwow, five minutes. Done. Yeah. Just like, pop, pop, pop. Here's what needs to be done. Move on. Yep. Um, or like, yeah. that's why I really like Monday because... We can just type something in there, type a task, assign it to someone, and you can write notes. Yep. So then you don't even have, like, because if you're worried that you're going to go tell this person to do something, and then you're going to talk 10 minutes about how your weekend was, you can just do it that way, and then they can yep. just go. Absolutely. Which is way better. Mm-hmm. But yeah, doing the notes and shit, you can just respond to a note instead of, like, yeah. dude, those things are massively beneficial to staying on task and not fucking mm. getting stuck in the bullshit of work, yeah. chatting, doing all that stuff. It's also been really nice because I'm not there all the time. So yeah. then they can take me and stuff and then they'll write me a little note and I can respond. Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely like find a program that works for you. Monday, I really like Sean used Asana before. I love Asana. And love Asana. Um... I know, like, uh, da, 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 Microsoft, they have a to-do thing you can mm-hmm. have as well. And I think you can share those lists. Um, so, yeah, just figure out what works for you and get shit done. Mm-hmm. Get rid of your distractions. Make your items smaller chunks. Mm-hmm. And just go. Mm-hmm. Make 2024 your year. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Spend more time up front building a system or a plan so that you can execute faster. Yeah, you're if you're gonna build a skyscraper, you gotta make sure you have a good foundation. That's Even it. a house. Gotta That's make sure it. the foundation is solid. Yep. I talked to had lunch with Brandon and two kids yesterday. Uh twenty and twenty two. They wanna get into real estate and stuff. <clears throat> and I'm talking to them and whatnot, and I lay out exactly what they both need to do for preparation, foundation work before they pull the trigger on anything. Mm-hmm. And they're like, well, would it make more sense for us to just be separate and like start doing it and then like work through all this stuff while we're doing it? And I'm like, no. I was like, you take one month 
It's like you you you've just you just spent twenty two years without doing it. Twenty years and twenty two years without doing it. You take one month. Mm-hmm. You go through the list of shit I just gave you. Do everything to the T, and in that time. You in one month, you will know exactly where the fuck you're going, what you're doing, who you're doing it with, and what your guys' duties are. One month, you have all that done, and then execute together. Execute in your lanes that you're supposed to be executing in your lanes, and boom, shit's gonna like materialize at a way quicker rate. Mm-hmm. I said, if you don't do that, you that that you're gonna start doing random shit that month list i gave you a shit to do is gonna get mumbo jumbo now it's six months now it's a year shit's all fucked up and you really got nothing accomplished Mm -hmm. you could even go backwards in that time you could even go backwards for sure spend the time up front get it worked out then execute yeah all right guys that's what i got cool thanks for tuning in catch you on friday bye see ya